so this little monkey figurine I made from a one-piece block mold, which looks like this. It's the simplest and the easiest uh, of the molds to make. It's only one piece, you cast it all at once, and your figure just pops right out of it when you're done. But to make this one piece silicone block mold, you need Aeromarine simple one to one 125 silicone mold raking rubber, pair of gloves, some cardboard, a hot glue gun, mixing containers, and a stir stick. So to start with, we're going to build a mold box to put our monkey in and pour the silicone around. I like to use cardboard uh, with hot glue because it's inexpensive and it's easy and you can make the mold box exactly the size you need so you're not wasting silicone. You can also use things like Tupperware containers, cups, um, you can make boxes out of Legos. There's a lot of things you can do, but I find that cardboard and hot glue are easy and inexpensive. I have already pre-cut these so that they are ready to go. So the next thing I'm going to do is run some uh, hot glue on all these seams on the outside of this box to make it nice and tight so it doesn't leak uh, silicone all over my lovely table. Yeah. With this particular silicone, you need the mold box to be about one inch bigger than your object all the way around. The next step is to anchor our piece into the mold box, which I'm going to do with my trusty hot glue gun. Okay. So next we're going to measure and mix our Aeromarine 125 one to one silicone mold making rubber. You do not need to weigh this silicone out. It is a simple one-to-one -one by volume. So you don't even really need, you know, measured metered cups. As long as you have two containers that are the same size, you can eyeball, you can pour them in until they look even to you. It's not such a picky product that if you're off by a milliliter, it's going to ruin everything. And I'm going to wear gloves because I don't like to get sticky. Now I'm going to check to make sure they're even, and it looks like I'm a little short on blue, so I'll just add a little more, and there we go. That's pretty darn close. The nice thing about this silicone is the A side is green and the B side is blue, which is nice because once I pour these into a container and start mixing, I'll know it's well mixed when it's all one uniform color with no streaks. Let's start mixing our silicone. So, I like to use a paint stir stick, but you can also use um, plastic, you know, spoons and knives that you can buy from the grocery store. Um, really any metal, wood, plastic uh, works just fine. You want to mix your silicone kind of vigorously, but not so vigorously that you're whipping air into it. You really want to make sure that you're scraping the sides of the mixing container and scraping the bottom of the mixing container. It's best to keep your stir stick on the bottom of the container so that you're not, you know, pulling it up and pulling air into it. You can mix in circles and figure eights. All right, now that my silicone is well mixed, I am going to pour it into my mold box. So I want to pick one spot where I'm going to pour, and you don't want to pour directly onto your piece. So I'm going to pour behind him, right into the bottom of that mold box, 
And you want to pour the silicone what we call high and thin because that helps it get rid of air bubbles. And then it also helps it pour slowly so that the silicone has time to flow around the object without getting air bubbles trapped on the surface. High and thin. Once we've totally covered our object in silicone, we're going to set this aside and wait for about two hours. So now that we've given our silicone time to set up, we're going to demold it. Since I made my mold box out of cardboard, I'm just going to rip it apart with my hands. So there's the bottom of our little monkey. And to get him out, I'm just going to pull the bottom of the mold apart and push down on the top where I can feel his little head with my thumbs. And then I'm just wiggling him out. And there's our monkey. And there's our mold. So frequently with a one-piece block mold, you'll get a little silicone creep around the bottom of your object. So this is considered flash. And we can just trim that away so there's a nice, even, open hole to pour your casting material into. I just use an X-Acto. Getting rid of the flash ensures that the bottom of your cast piece is nice and flat and makes your mold look pretty. Okay. So now we have a nice, neat, even, round opening to pour our casting material into. So that's how you make a one-piece block mold using Aeromarine Simple 1-to-1 1 125 silicone mold making rubber. You can find this product and all our other wonderful products online at aeromarineproducts.com.